So if you clicked on this video, you probably heard of cold therapy and all the numerous benefits it has on inflammation, recovery, and even weight loss. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you three reasons why cold therapy, such as cold plunges and cold showers, actually increase your body's natural ability to burn more fat, why that matters even if you're not trying to lose weight, and how to get the benefits of cold therapy without the drawbacks. Hey there, I'm David, and I help people reclaim their lives from brain fog, chronic fatigue, and low self-esteem. So while I'm a big fan of cold therapy, it is not for everyone. It's often touted as this ultimate life hack that is gonna be beneficial for everyone, and that is simply not the case. In particular, Vata body types, people suffering from chronic fatigue, and those who are persistently burnt out should not really be doing a whole lot of cold therapy. That being said, when it's done with intention and balanced with other lifestyle interventions, it could absolutely be an indispensable part of your toolkit when it comes to accelerating weight loss, for having more energy, boosting your mood, and so much more. Um, if you're interested in understanding who should and should not be doing cold therapy, you can check out my video right here. But for now, that's gonna be my disclaimer. So let's go ahead and drop into the three reasons why cold therapy accelerates fat burning. So the first reason why cold exposure helps you burn more fat is that it changes the type of fat you're carrying to begin with. So you have two types of adipose fat tissue or of fat. You have white adipose fat tissue and brown adipose fat tissue. This white adipose fat tissue is highly estrogenic meaning it has a lot of estrogen in it, it holds a lot of toxins, and it's often what we refer to as toxic water weight, right? That puffiness, water retention type of fat. Whereas brown adipose fat tissue is made up of mitochondria, is high in iron, and actually increases thermogenesis or the amount of heat in your body, meaning it impacts your metabolism, and it can actually drive uh, your ability to burn fat as well. So. Okay, let's get down to the nitty gritty here. So there's this process called beijing. You might be thinking, what the heck are you talking about, David? What is beijing? Beijing is the conversion of white adipose fat tissue to brown adipose fat tissue. So when you expose yourself to a hermetic stressor, such as cold therapy, what happens is that this brown adipose fat tissue starts to be converted over to, or the white adipose fat tissue gets converted over to brown adipose fat tissue. And as a result of having more brown adipose fat tissue, you're increasing thermogenesis or the amount of heat in your body because your body is trying to stay warm as a result of the cold exposure, which then helps you burn more calories, which then eventually helps you burn more fat and just be a healthier human. So even if you have the same amount of body fat, having a higher percentage or having more out of brown adipose fat tissue really means you're gonna have better health outcomes than if you were to only have uh, white adipose fat tissue. So even if you're at the same weight, look the same and have the same amount of fat, the type of fat that you're carrying actually matters quite a bit. So you might be thinking, wow, this is too good to be true, that all I have to do is change over from white adipose fat tissue to brown adipose fat tissue. And yes, there are plenty of studies to back it up. And there's even studies showing how having more brown adipose fat tissue helps you regulate your blood sugar. So the second reason why cold exposure helps you burn more fat is that it stimulates your natural production of vitamin A or retinol. You've probably heard of the benefits of retinol for your skin, but it has a lot of benefits also for fat burning or for conversion of white adipose fat tissue to brown adipose fat tissue. So when you're exposed to cold therapy, it actually stimulates the reserves or the vitamin A reserves in your liver, which then actually helps you convert that white adipose fat tissue over to brown adipose fat tissue, and then kind of falls into the same loop of increasing thermogenesis, which then increases how many calories you burn and how much fat you can burn downstream. So for many people, they might be thinking, well, why don't I just take high doses of retinol or high doses of vitamin A? And that's completely missing the point. We absolutely don't wanna do that. We wanna support our body's natural production of retinol and vitamin A instead of trying to micromanage our health because there, it's gonna know really what's best in this instance. So cold therapy is a really powerful way to stimulate our body's natural production of vitamin A in order to support fat burning. And in case you're a show me the data type of person, here's a study that replicated this uh, mechanism in both mice and in humans. I've also linked to it in the description below. And the last reason why cold therapy helps you burn more fat is that it amplifies the fat burning effects of exercise, especially something like HIIT. 
So by now we know that the more brown adipose fat tissue that you have, the more thermogenesis is taking place. Therefore, the faster your metabolism is, the more calories you're burning, and then the more fat that you're burning. So it probably doesn't come as a surprise that when you combine cold therapy with exercise, you're going to have kind of a fat burning powerhouse. However, um, the order does matter here. So I would say that unless you're a professional athlete, um, doing your cold therapy before your workout is going to actually provide more benefit than after. And if you're interested in cold and hot therapy routines, you can go ahead and check out this video over here where I go into four different routines based off of um, the, pers the type of people that should do them as well as the specific effects that you're hoping to get from them. So definitely go ahead and check that out. When it comes to the specific type of exercise, it didn't really say so in the studies that I've read. However, we know that high intensity interval training or METCON or metabolic conditioning training are really the best kinds when it comes to fat burning and body transformation. I'm not saying that other modalities are bad or that you shouldn't do them. However, specifically when it comes to body transformation goals, so such as building muscle or leaning out, um, METCON and HIT tend to be the most effective with in the least amount of time. So um, I would definitely recommend that combination if you're specifically trying to lose weight. So here's what the study said on the effects of cold therapy and exercise. A recent study, however, demonstrated a significant effect of exercise training on Beijing markers, UCP1 and CPT1 in abdominal SCWAT across weight spectrums, despite the lack of effects on insulin sensitivity. Taken together, both cold exposure and exercise can induce Beijing in lean rodents, leading to increases in metabolic, metabolically active adipose tissue. In humans, however, the clinical evidence remains insufficient to suggest that both stimuli have the positive effects on WAT Beijing. So while this study was limited to rodents, we know from anecdotal evidence, and I know personally just from working with people one-on-one, -on -one, that combining cold therapy with HIIT training and other kind of weight loss protocols absolutely has an impact on fat burning and on weight loss. So you can definitely um, lean into kind of the communities that have already been doing this for a long time. And I'm sure that the studies are gonna follow soon enough. All right, well, today's video was short and sweet, but I hope it got you excited to try cold therapy and just generally got you excited about the idea of converting white adipose fat tissue to brown adipose fat tissue and what the health benefits are regardless of whether or not you're trying to lose weight. So like I said, cold therapy is fantastic, but I don't recommend it for those who are suffering from chronic fatigue, myalgic encephalomyelitis, or those who are persistently burnt out. There are just better ways to support your body and you really don't need to jump into a cold plunge in order to feel like you're biohacking or being a healthy human. So uh, by no means feel like this is something you need to do, uh, but when it is done intentionally and in the right combination of modalities, it can be extremely powerful. So just curious, um, have you been using cold plunge or cold therapy? If so, how have you been going about it? What kind of results have you been getting? And are there any questions that maybe you have that haven't been answered yet? Go ahead and drop those in the comments below. All right, well, that's it for today. Go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and join me on this journey of healing as we optimize our mind, body, and emotions. My whole goal is to make sure that nobody ever burns out again. So in that spirit, if you wanna go ahead and get started, go ahead and download the free Break Free From Burnout PDF guide. You can find that in the highlighted comment as well as in the description. If you want to dive a little bit deeper into my work, I have two options. One is the Break Free From Brain Fog, Chronic Fatigue, and Burnout course. You can check that out in the description below. So it's a step-by-step -step framework on how to heal, identify the root cause, and then heal from brain fog, chronic fatigue, and from burnout. The next option is, of course, is to work with me one-on-one. -on -one. So if that is of interest, or if you just want to connect um, to share your journey, or if you have any questions, um, go ahead and book a discovery call with me. I really love talking to viewers and getting to know people because my goal here is to be of service to as many people as possible. And one of the ways that I can do that is by talking to you, hearing your story, and really guiding my efforts um, in a way so that I can build products, services, offerings of any kind, other videos and podcasts that are directly related to the things that you need to know about in order to support your healing journey. So don't be shy. Um, I really would like to connect with you. And of course, um, if you can comment below with how you've been impacted by this video, with what you're up to, or with any questions you have, um, I'm always in there trying to be of service um, in terms of commenting back. So once again, may you be happy, may you be healthy, and may you move through this life with ease. Lots of love to you all. Bye.